This conference will now be recorded. In this video, we will discuss dashboards and charts in Dynamics 365. A dashboard, as seen here, is made up of a collection of easy to read charts and lists that provide visual representation of filtered Dynamics 365 data. The interactive charts and lists on a dashboard display important data that gives you a 360 degree view of your business and helps you understand key performance indicators. There are two types of dashboards, system dashboards and personal dashboards. Personal dashboards can only be seen by the user who created them. The user can also share their personal dashboard with other users if that user has sharing privileges for their security role. Here, you can see a personal dashboard listed under My Dashboard. Only myself and users that this dashboard has been shared with will be able to see this dashboard listed under My Dashboard. System dashboards listed under the System Dashboards header are created by your administrator. By default, these dashboards are visible to all users. To create a personal dashboard, you want to first create the list, which can be a saved personal or system view, or create the chart, which can also be a personal or system chart. Additionally, you can add the assistant, iframe, or a previously created web resource to a dashboard. In this video, we will focus on adding a chart and a list. To do so, let's navigate to dashboards by clicking on dashboard, and then on the command bar, we can select new and dynamic 365 dashboard. This is going to allow us to create a custom personal dashboard. The first step is to choose a layout and then select create. This is how your dashboard will display the charts, graphics, and lists that you select to be added. Once you've selected your layout and click Create, you will be taken to the Dashboard Designer view. This conference will now be Once recorded. The Dashboard Designer view has loaded. Step one is to type a name for the dashboard. This dashboard is going to be Focus Dashboard, as it's meant to serve as a quick snapshot of the data in Dynamics 365. That should be today's focus when you first log in. Next, you can add what you want each area of your dashboard to display. For example, let's add a chart. To do so, we will click the chart icon. And on the Add Component dialog box, you can select your options. So you can choose the record type for the entity you want to reference. In this example, we will choose Opportunity. Next, you'll choose which view you want this chart to be based on. For this example, let's do My Open Opportunity. And then I want to choose the Sales Pipeline chart. Now remember that since personal dashboards are for personal use. These views can display either personal or system views. But if we choose my open opportunities, it's going to show open opportunities where the owner equals the current user. So if you do share this dashboard out, just keep in mind that any personal views and charts that you've created will also need to be shared with the users that you share the dashboard with. Otherwise, they will not be able to see the components on the dashboard itself. They will only be able to see the dashboard. To add this chart, I'm going to click Add. Here you can see it displayed. You can also add additional lists by clicking Insert List. Or as discussed previously, you can insert the assistant insert an iframe, or insert a web resource. 
Let's now add a view of my open activity. To do so, we will click on the list icon. We will do the same thing here on the add component dialog box that we did for the chart. We're just gonna stop after we add the view since this is not a chart. So the record type in this situation will be activity. And I want to change my view from my activities to open activities. When I click add, now I can see that I have my chart and my activities. I could rearrange these by just clicking and dragging. And then if I wanted to, I can also increase the width or the height of each dashboard component. To do so, I'll select the dashboard component and then click the ellipses at the top. From here, you can click increase width and increase height. If you didn't mean to do that, you can click back and do decrease width. Now you have height, so you don't have to scroll as much if there's a lot of activities listed. Or if you have a lot of columns, you can increase the width so you don't have to scroll left to right. You can view all of the columns listed. Let's leave it at one width decrease and let's drag the chart up here, right beside activities. So that these are the same size, let's also select the chart and increase the height of the chart. Perfect. If you wanted to, you could go in here and add additional components, but we're done with this example. Once you're done editing the layout of the dashboard, on the command bar, select Save. There are a few other options available on the command bar as well. For example, Properties. Properties will change the properties of the dashboard. Here you can change the name or enable this dashboard for the mobile app so that you can view it while you're working in the mobile app on your mobile device. You can also select a specific component and click edit component. This will allow you to change the name or the label, decide whether or not you want to display the label on the dashboard. You could change the view that is listed. For example, if I wanted to change this to just my activities, you can choose whether or not to display a search box and show all views or just the selected view. And then you can choose if you want to um, make this view available on the phone as well. And I click OK. My components has been, has been updated. I could also select the component and remove it. Or I could add charts and lists directly from within the navigation bar. Now that we're done editing our dashboard, I'm gonna click save one more time and I'm going to close it. Oh, it looks like my save didn't go through. Let me do that one more time just to make sure. And close, okay. Now it'll refresh and it will show me my focus dashboard. You'll notice we have the My Activities view and I could also choose from any other system views. I could also create new activity from within this view or search for records within this view. If I scroll down, I can view the chart that we added for my open opportunities. If your dashboard that you've created isn't immediately available, you may need to refresh Dynamics 365. Now you'll notice that the dashboard you created is listed under my dashboard. So now I have the cup of coffee dashboard and the focus dashboard. If this is the dashboard I want to see every time I click on the dashboard in, navigation, in the navigation pane, I can select this dashboard and then I can click set as default. Now I know that this is my default dashboard. If I wanted to change that, I could clear it. If I wanted to edit this dashboard, I could do so by clicking edit. If I wanted to create a new dashboard, I could create new or I could do a save as and start from this dashboard and create a new one. If you want to share this with others, you can click share, but I do not recommend assigning this dashboard because unless you've previously shared it with yourself, you will no longer have access to this dashboard once you reassign it. Instead, I recommend sharing. 
In order to share a dashboard, you can click Share Dashboard. Then you'll want to select Add User or Team to select the users or the team you want to share it with. Once the users that you've decided to share it with are listed here, you can choose the permissions you want to give them. I recommend giving them read and share permissions so that they can view the, the dashboard and also unshare it with themselves or share it with others if they no longer need it or if other users need the dashboard in the future. I don't recommend write permissions because if they were to make an edit to this dashboard, it would not only change it for their user in CRM, it would change it for all users that this dashboard is shared with, including you. I also don't recommend giving them delete or assign permissions because we don't want them to delete this dashboard or reassign it so that you no longer have access to it if it wasn't previously shared with you. Once you have granted the appropriate dashboard permissions, click share. When those users log in, they may need to refresh their screen, but if they navigate to dashboards, they should be able to find the dashboard that you've shared with their user by clicking on their dashboard and looking under their My Dashboards header. This concludes the Dashboards Overview in Dynamics 365. Please contact us to request a personal demo, get support, or access our resource library.